Welcome back to our channel. It's Caitlin from The Carnival Couple, and today we are gonna be making a sugar-free, low-carb Jello punch. Now, I just tested this Jello punch recipe out with my family this last weekend at a 4th of July party, and I gotta tell you, it was the star of the party. I had so many people asking me for the recipe, and they could not believe that it was a sugar-free punch. So if you have a summer barbecue coming up, this recipe could be for you. Now it does have some artificial sweetener in it, so it's not something that we're going to have all the time, but if you're looking for something for a special occasion, something to bring to a share meal or make for a summer barbecue, this recipe is perfect. Let's get into it. So this punch recipe is adapted from a full sugar punch recipe that I'll put in the description, but we're trying to make it low carb and sugar free. So we're going to be using three main ingredients. The first one is sugar-free strawberry jello. So this is very important because it is the gelatin in the jello that is gonna make sure that our punch doesn't just turn into a block of solid ice. It's the jello that kind of gives it that gelatinous texture and make sure that it doesn't freeze completely when we put this into the freezer. Now the original recipe also calls for orange juice and pineapple juice, two things we can't have. So I was trying to figure out how I could recreate those two flavors in this punch. So for the orange juice, I'm just using these zero sugar sun-kissed packets you could use pretty much any other kind of sugar-free orange flavor that you want to. Uh, in my original one that I made for my family, I used Kool-Aid and then made it with some Splenda. You could also probably do some Zero Sugar Crush. We just need to make sure we get that orange flavor. And then the second flavor we need is pineapple. So again, I've got some Zero Sugar Pineapple Drink Mixins. And so those are the three key flavors that we're trying to recreate. Now let's put it together. So first I need to make three cups of the pineapple juice so I'm going to take about one and a half packets of the pineapple zero sugar drink mix in I'm going to add that to three cups of water and then just stir it really good until it's all dissolved and then I'm going to put that into my Tupperware container with a lid I like to choose one with a lid because it makes it easier to freeze so I'm going to pour that into that container so I've got my pineapple flavor ready then I'm going to do the same thing with the orange. For the orange, I only need about two cups of orange flavor. So I add one packet of my orange drink mix in, make sure that's well dissolved. And then I'm going to add that to my pineapple flavor again in that Tupperware container. And then I'm going to add about one third of cup of lemon juice. Then next, we're going to use our secret ingredient. This is the sugar-free strawberry jello. We are going to add that to three cups of boiling water. Now make sure to add this slowly because as you can see, when you add that jello in there, it's going to almost boil over. There's just a chemical reaction that's happening there. So don't be like me and let it boil over the pot. <laughs> So you can see it's getting really close to the edge there. Next, we need to add half a cup of artificial sweetener to that jello. I chose to use stevia. And then you need to mix this in really good for about three minutes until you see that your sweetener is completely dissolved in the boiling jello mixture. Finally, we're gonna add that jello mixture into our Tupperware container, mix it up really good just to combine that pineapple, orange, lemon, strawberry jello mix. Put the lid on and then put it into your freezer overnight and pull it out the next day. Hey guys, so I just pulled the punch out of the freezer. It has been in the freezer overnight and I pulled it out about two to three hours ago to give it a little bit of time to kind of thaw out a little bit. If you don't have that kind of time, you could always put it in the microwave kind of at a minute at a time and then kind of checking on it to make sure it doesn't go back to just liquid. So we're gonna check on it and scoop us up some delicious punch. Here is the punch. It's kind of slushed up here at the bottom and this part is still kind of thawing out. So if you wanna make this process go faster, you can just take a knife and kind of go at it. <laughs> this looks sketchy, but this is what works, y'all. Just a knife kind of chopped up into pieces. All right, so there we go. I've got it pretty well broken up. I'm gonna take my glass and just scoop a little bit of this. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna add some 7-Up Zero Sugar to top this off. And there we go. Look at that deliciousness. Ooh, I'm excited to try it. All right, y'all, so here is our low-carb, sugar-free summer punch. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Mm. This is good. Definitely reminds me of the full sugar version, except I can feel better about myself when I have this one. Um, in one word, it's just tropical. You really have that pineapple flavor coming through, but it's just really good and refreshing. I don't know about you, but something about frozen cold drinks on a hot summer day, 
Mm, it's just so great. So if you've got a special party coming up or if you got something you need to bring somewhere, bring this. It is awesome. You will not be disappointed. Again, I made it for my family's 4th of July party and every single person loved it and they wanted the recipe. So I hope you tried this out. Let me know how it goes in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.